Hello, Dr. Becker. What a great day we had today we in British Columbia. Yeah, we did. It was awesome connecting, mind jamming, mind coupling with the people. I got to ask you, what was your favorite part? My favorite part is the fact that in 20 years of commercially available raw foods, in this really short two decades, we have an entire generation of proactive pet parents that are knowledgeable, capable, they know what to feed, they know why to feed, they're making excellent decisions. What that tells me is that they are providing the best care for the animals that they're taking care of. They're partnering with veterinarians to make good lifestyle decisions, but they know in their hearts that they're making the right decision. They are never going to be led astray from bad veterinary advice, and I love that. How about your favorite? What's your favorite part? You just answered all of my questions, actually. I don't know uh, if you left me with anything. Or let me let me, let me me try to pull it together here and try to think of something. Did I take clever. all the answers? I feel like you said everything that you didn't really leave me with. I, I think. Uh, all right. So you... what the, <clears throat> my favorite part today, my favorite part is the that that aha moment mm -hmm. you know that sort of that neurological dopamine release i get when you look into the eyes of that pet parent in that audience and they you could just see they got it right they look at that visual they put two and two together and then their eyes just light up like saucers i yeah. love that feeling that feeling of you know what i think from this point forward i'm going to change and i want to be that better pet parent so that was kind of my favorite point and how about the fact that uh that Ina brought together people that are actually like 202. This was not basic no, entry. These are super right. educated pet parents because she spent her career making not only great raw food, but educating people, educating people in why to, why to make the decisions that they're doing and how to do it healthfully. I mean, it's, it's cool that they're as knowledgeable as they are. It is. And it's also a good testament to the future raw food yeah. manufacturers around the world that look what you can do, look what you can achieve. Not very many people in the raw food world today are doing things like That's this. Right. So it's kind of, it sets that bar to say, hey, look, you want to, if, if you want to be able to educate people, what better way than to bring people all together within a uh, community, creating a, a tribe mentality and everyone educating them. And so I guess the other thing that I love is that she streamed it on Facebook because there's a lot of people that couldn't be here. And how cool, what an awesome opportunity that she provided for free to educate people. And that's what this is all about. That's why this event took place. So it was an honor to be here. But I think what she is providing to the community, not just of a raw Peters, but of people that are interested, on the fence, not sure. It's a welcoming community full of knowledge, and I think most importantly, stepping stones and how to make the next best decision that can help improve your animal's health. I couldn't agree more. Vancouver, thank you so much for having us. We loved it out here, and I hope we come back again. Yeah, it was a great event.